for your counsel and your will. Thank you for your purpose. Thank you for your, your grace. As we go into your word, we receive light. We receive understanding, illumination. Speak to us, speak to our hearts, speak to our spirits. Plant your counsel in us. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Now, in the book of Revelation, in chapter 11, verse 15, it said, The seventh angel sounded, and there were great voices in heaven, saying, The kingdoms of this world are become the kingdoms of our Lord and is Christ, and it shall reign forever and ever. This prophecy is being fulfilled. Here, in this place, in the procession of the fulfillment of God's prophecy, it was completed. Completed means all the kingdoms of this world at this point in the history of, uh, 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 of this age had become the kingdom of our Lord and his Christ. All. But Jesus said we shall occupy till he comes. So he expects us to start taking those kingdoms one after the other. So that by this time it will be completed. The kingdoms of this world becoming the kingdoms of our Lord and Christ is not something that is just going to happen overnight. So we are studying this prophecy uh, and the last time we were looking at the tribes and the nations, today we're going to be looking at um, the um, industries and fields because they are geogra geographical kingdoms. God wants us to uh, subdue them for Christ. You know, not fighting wars, no, but getting people saved. There are tribes and nations, races. All right. God wants us to make sure that there are people who are saved from every race. The Bible said the gospel of the kingdom shall be preached as a witness. It will be a witness that this gospel was preached to you. Not just preached, demonstrated, lived out before you. So, so people will be saved. People will live out the kingdom right before people's eyes and faces. All right, before the end comes. So God said, sit down my right hand to Jesus until I make thy enemies thy footstool. He said, God will send forth the rod of his strength out of Zion, rule in the midst of your enemies. God wants the church, the body of Christ, the ecclesia, to take charge of this world and take it off Satan's hand. And that's what God wants the kingdoms of this world becoming the kingdoms of our Lord and his Christ. In Luke chapter 19, verse 12 and 13 says, And he said, Therefore, a certain noble man went into a far country to receive for himself a kingdom and to return. And he called his ten servants and delivered unto them ten pounds and said unto them, Occupy till I come. Occupy, take possession. Now I'll read the devotional for today because this is about occupying industries and different fields of life. God's kingdom is the final and ultimate kingdom that will bring mankind to our fullness. That's it. And set all of creation in the place of accurate purpose and function. See, the kingdom of God is the ultimate and the final kingdom. You know, Daniel prophesied about four kingdoms for all these four wild animals, you know, and all of that. And all of these things are speaking about kingdoms. But there's a final kingdom, and that's the kingdom of God. So, prophecy has it that our kingdom will be the final kingdom. And there's nothing that can stop it. Prophecy will come to pass. 
the enemy has tried to um, kind of um, deceive mankind. That's why, I mean, consistently in movies, you see it, you know, being displayed, you know, uh, a suggestive state of mind that prophecies don't necessarily have to come to pass. One, that prophecy means your life is under control. You understand? <laughs> you know, that if prophecy says this is what is where it's going to end, then that means we are all just slaves of the prophecy. Meaning we don't have free will. It's constantly being portrayed. You know, I've told you the entertainment industry is another uh, platform of education. So mankind is being constantly educated. You know, through the movies, the shows, the talk shows and all that. So there's a suggestion. If you watch movies where they talk about prophecy, all these, you know, epic and uh, adventure and, uh, you know, all these stuff. They're always making it to look like, no. And then most people, will, most of the stars of the movie will say, I don't believe in prophecy. I just want to make my own choices. But you see, we need to understand this. Prophecy is God telling us the end from the beginning so that we can make right choices. If you make a choice against prophecy, prophecy will still come to pass. If you make a choice in line with prophecy, prophecy will still come to pass. It is like a father telling a son, look, the trend, the, the path this country is going, the richest people in the next 15 years will be those in this and this and this fields and business. If you get into that business, you'll be one of the richest. And then the son said, no, I don't believe in prophecy. I just want to make my own choices. You understand? The father is not giving him prophecy to control his life. He's only giving him prophecy so he can make the right choice, so he can be in the right place at the end. So prophecy, you know, it's so interesting. And I see it constantly in movies. Constantly. They will just push against. And what they are doing, they are suggesting it to all our children as they are watching the movies. Their minds are accepting it. So when we read Bible prophecy, they will just kick against it. Why? Because they are being programmed against that suggestion and you know the the funny thing is this our god our father boast in being able to tell us end from beginning see there are things that are spoken concerning your life you can choose to fulfill it you can choose not to fulfill it it's your choice but general prophecy nobody can stop them you can't stop he said, if you can break my covenant with the day, that there will be no day. Break my covenant with the night, that there will be no night. Then you can break, you can stop it, that David will not have a son on the throne. You, you know, or my covenant with the Levites. So God is simply saying, look, there are things that are beyond. I mean, somebody wakes up and say, there shall be no rapture. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. If it's prophecy, and God has said it to happen, you can't stop it. You, you can't fit it out. It's like saying that there will be no, there, there is no God. You can't faith out God. You can't say, I believe there is no God. And so there shall not be any God. You can't faith it out. Those things are there. You can't change them. You can make choices. You can make decisions based on them. You can make decisions that will favor you. You can make decisions that will be in, in, in your disfavor. Whatever you choose, that's your choice. You understand? And that's why I tell people, always that whatever you choose god will still use it for his own good so if you choose to be with him good if you choose to be against him it will still be used for ultimate purpose so prophecy is very important for us to understand prophecy very important we cannot be against prophecy so the prophecy says the kingdom of god will be the final kingdom on earth that's a prophecy this listen this is the final kingdom in all prophecies the kingdom of god all prophecies as the kingdom of god as the final kingdom daniel's interpretation of nebuchadnezzar's dream called it the stone that destroyed all the other kingdoms and became the dominant kingdom on earth the bible said that stone hit the feet of that image and became a gigantic mountain that filled the earth 
So, God, and, and listen, you know, when I'm talking about prophecy, I'm not talking about prophecy that somebody told you. I'm talking about prophecy that's already written in scriptures. So that you don't think that somebody can manipulate you with his personal prophecy for you. No. Because some people are not receiving from God. If they are receiving from God, then that's the will of God. And if you yield yourself to it, you'll see it happen. There are people who rejected God's prophecy for them. And it changed. So, the individual word that God gives each person, you can choose to accept it, you can choose not to. But the general prophecy that God has said will be for the whole realm of existence, that one will be, that one you are supposed to listen to it, look at it, and make good decision that will favor you at the end of the day, based on prophecy. That's why we call it the prophecy of our time, understanding the prophecy of our time. So that you can make quality decisions based on that. And be able to find yourself in the right place so it destroyed the other kingdoms and and became the dominant kingdom on earth prophecies also describe this kingdom starting from europe to fill the earth this is why god has gathered and is still gathering all the ethnos nations and races to europe and that's one of the message we are taking all over europe other sections of society that will be occupied by saints of the Most High to fulfill the kingdoms of this world, becoming the kingdom of our Lord and His Christ, because it's prophecy. All the kingdoms of this world will become the kingdoms of our Lord and His Christ. It's a prophecy. It will come to pass. It doesn't matter how much Satan resists. People are going to rise and agree prophecy and it's coming to pass. <laughs> All right. Because the kingdom of our Lord. Oh, uh, I mean, sorry, I have to read them. all of that. Oh, I mean, other sectors of society that will be occupied by the saints of the Most High to fulfill the kingdoms of this world, becoming the kingdoms of our Lord and His Christ, are fields of talents and skills and also industries. All fields of talents, knowledge, and skill will be taken over by the saints. And when we say take it over, meaning we're going to be on top of it, we're going to be the stakeholders, we're going to be the one directing the path, and we're going to be dominant in it, in all fields of life. All right? All fields of life. We are anointed with the oil of gladness to be above all species and creations in each of these fields of talent, knowledge, and skills. So, all these fields of talent, writing, up to cause sculptor uh, music uh, acting the believers will be on top of it the believers will be on top of it the believers will be on top that's why we're encouraging those who are in those industries to believe in the prophecy and believe in yourself and no matter what resistance you face believe that you are taking it over and you will take it over now it's one thing to believe you are taking something over just because you believe all right is another thing to believe you are taking something over because the force of life and creation nature and everything is moving in that direction then your believing is just rightly positioned because all forces will support you now when you are believing and you are believing and probably the tide is not going in that direction all right you will have to really fight against the tide to see your belief come to pass mm. but when you are now moving the direction of the tide uh, now there's satan's tide though but god's tide is mightier is a tsunami cannot be stopped god is making us to also occupy the leadership and operations of these sectors so all industries so what, what what's the difference between fields and industries it's very simple the fields are areas of talent skills and knowledge the industries Yes, we also have those things, but industries are specific industry, entertainment industry. In that entertainment industry, you have different talents functioning there. But that industry is an industry. And you understand that in football, for example, there are the talents inside football. The coach, the players, the people that score among the players, they are all the talents. But you see, they make some money, but the people that really make the money, are the ones that are into the football business the ones that own the clubs that do the adverts that do the products 
they are the ones making most of the money. The industries have to be controlled by the saints. All right? So that we are establishing righteousness of the kingdom, systems of the kingdom, character of the kingdom, in everything that we do on earth. Satan will regret that he crucified Jesus. Because God has said, sit on my right and don't worry. I'm going to make your enemies your footstool. It's a prophecy. It will come to pass. There's no devil that can stop it. No force of hell can stop it. All right? And we just have to accept the prophecy and run with it. And God will make it our reality. All right? The people of the Lord that would take the prophecy, pray it and birth it and run with it. They are the ones that will see it come to pass. So these fields and industries have to be taken over. So God is making us occupy the leadership and the operations of these sectors. And he has the strength, power and wisdom for us to occupy it. Because we need strength to occupy it. Strength of heart, strength of mind, strength of will to occupy. Because there will be opposition. There will be resistance from the devil. But they can't stop you. We need power. Raw power of God. Walking miracles. Making things happen. Shifting times and seasons. Sweeping opportunities your way. Making people to change their mind concerning you. Power. Raw power. People wake out of their bed and say, no, we're giving that thing to that company. People say, no, that company, da, 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 da. And they bring up, say, I don't care what you are saying, that we're giving to that company. Power! And people will threaten you, power stepping in there to shake them up. Somebody said, it can't happen. We're going to finish you. And then his first bond dies. Second bond dies. You see, our pastor, is, are those kind of things going to happen? At some very dangerous levels, where some wicked people insist that their wickedness must continue god will strike all right through them in a mighty way some of them will have stroke and go into coma and they'll be in coma for two years by by the time they come out of coma you have finished everything i remember one man that said over his dead body a church we built beside his house the man was sick they carried him abroad for treatment for six months within six months that he was abroad the church was finished they built the church and finished it he went to the government and said, well, if you hear sound, you can record it and bring it to us. We'll come and check it. Because they said they built it soundproof. And it's true, the church was soundproof. If you stand outside the church, in front of the church, beside the church, if, if I'm beside the building of the church, you won't hear the sound inside. Because oh, that, that was the complaint of the man. And there will be a new, new sound to the environment, noise, 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 noise. The government said, look, they, they have, they, we, we asked them. And we told them that if you don't build to this persecution, we're coming to pull it down. And they are built to persecution. So if you hear sound there, record the command, tell us. We'll come and check it. God is mighty. So we will have power. And then we're going to have wisdom. Wisdom will give us ideas, innovations, inventions. Take over every field, every industry. Be the ones inventing things, making things happen. God is doing that now. We've talking about we've talked about taking the mountains for years. Now it's time to take the mountain. The mountains of education, of of uh, sports, of entertainment, the mountains of government. We have to take it. We have to take it. And God is giving us grace. I want you to pray this morning and say, Father. I receive all grace I need to occupy for Christ in all spaces and spheres of my influence and engagement in the name of Jesus. Help me to occupy for Christ in Jesus' name. Pray that in the Holy Ghost. Renika papu kotofla apuskofia menenta. Katwa sisa, katwa sisa, katwa sisa papu kotofla pa ata kolusoma. Aria papu kotofla di ambuskofia menanda. 
akalu 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 papaskori arriga mambas confiam menente shas gotofia papike do frabokonoska in jesus mighty name we are prayed amen now it's time to go into our confessions confessions are very important the words you speak determines the future you see so never ever let the devil lie to you all right the words you speak determine the future you see the words you speak determine the future you see very important to speak the right words all right very important to say the right words today that's what you experience tomorrow so say these words with me with all your heart and when we get to the point where you speak specific things please speak okay we have to master this speaking until you say it now and it happens now like your father we have to master it we have to master it. and it is by practicing that we improve and improve and improve until until we get there hallelujah glory to god so say with me say in the name of jesus i am a new creation in christ jesus the old things have passed away all things are new in my life i have been washed with the washing of regeneration and renewing of the holy ghost therefore my body my my organs and systems my bones and cells my genes and dna have been ignited by the resurrection power of god so they cannot be deformed defiled by any force element of our sin in the name of jesus i declare the blood of jesus flows in my blood i'm of a new lineage the blood of jesus lineage in the name of jesus all negative experiences and diseases attached to the old bloodline have been purged out of my life and my lineage in the name of jesus the covenant in the blood of jesus is the only covenant that speaks in my life and in my lineage in the name of jesus i declare today christ has redeemed me from the curse therefore i cannot be cursed i am the blessed and my blessing cannot be reversed in the name of jesus christ i declare today i am a spirit i have a soul i live inside this body my spirit is in perfect connection and harmony with the father the son and the holy spirit for i am joined to the lord i am one spirit with the lord in the name of jesus i am born of god i am a god child of the most high god offspring of the almighty god as a god i have unhindered access to the father i hear his voice i have conversations with him every day i engage his presence in the name of jesus i declare my soul has been delivered from the control of the law sin and death in the name of jesus christ my body is in subjection to me the spirit and the holy ghost therefore all lost and evil affection of the flesh have been crucified in my flesh in the name of jesus i declare i am born of god god is love i am love and i walk in love i am patient with all kind to all because i am love i am not selfish i am not envious i am not boastful because i am love i forgive i forget all wrongs done against me because i'm love i am not easily provoked i refuse to be angry according to the flesh because i am love i respect all young and old great and small because i am love i love righteousness i hate wickedness because i am love i believe the best of all i hope the best for all i endure all things for the sake of the kingdom i cannot fail 
because I am love. I am born of God. God is holy. I am holy. In the name of Jesus, Jesus Christ took my place in judgment, died for my sins. Therefore, no sin, no accusation, no charge can be leveled against me. I am the righteousness of God. I have been discharged and acquitted in the name of Jesus. I am born of God. God is righteous. I am the righteousness of God. I walk in purity. I am meek and lowly in heart. I have rest in my soul. I am the meek that inherits the earth in the name of Jesus. I have the spirit and the mind of humility from Christ. Therefore, I am submissive to God, his will and his counsel. So he exalts me in due season and I am loaded with abundance of grace today in the name of Jesus. I have on the whole armor of God. I have on the belt of truth. I speak the truth, the word of God in all situations that I find myself. I have the breastplate of Jesus' righteousness. Therefore, I am bold, courageous, and confident in all situations and in every place. In the name of Jesus, I have the sandals of the preaching of the gospel. I help all to find Christ and intimacy with God. I have the helmet of salvation. I live in expectation of the coming of the Lord. And this hope purifies me in the name of Jesus. I have the shield of faith. And by this shield, I quench all darts and the fairy darts of the devil. In the name of Jesus, I walk by faith and not by sight. I have the sword of the spirit, the word of God. I have the word I need for every situation I face. And so I overcome by the blood of the Lamb and the word of my testimony. In the name of Jesus, I declare today, I am blessed of God, blessed to do well, empowered to prosper, to go forward, to increase and be very great. I have the power to get wealth. And by this power, wealth fills my life. In the name of Jesus, money follows me and serves me as my slave. I am blessed with abundance of it. In the name of Jesus, the best among men, work with me and for me. In the name of Jesus, I declare, I am blessed with lands, properties, all means of transportation as a seed of Abraham in the name of Jesus. Jesus took the infirmities, sicknesses, affliction, diseases that should have oppressed me. He took them to the cross and destroyed them there. Therefore, I, I, I live in health. I cannot be sick in the name of Jesus by the stripes of Jesus. I have been healed. My body is the temple of the Holy Spirit and the Spirit of God pours life into my body, swallowing up corruption, infirmity, sickness, and death. I have the life of God in my body, in my organs, in my systems, in my bones, in my cells, in my genes, in my DNA. I have the life of God in the name of Jesus. I have wisdom for every situation. Christ in me is the treasure house of wisdom. So I have wisdom. I know what to do. I know how to go about things by the wisdom of God. I have favor. The sweet ointment, perfume of Jesus is upon me. Yes, everywhere I go in the name of Jesus. My name, my presence, thoughts about me is as perfume poured forth. It steers people to favor me. Yes, in the name of Jesus, I'm highly favored. Systems, policies, elements, all of creation, they favor me. In the name of Jesus, 
I and all that am I. We dwell in the secret place of the Most High, under the shadow of the Almighty. Therefore, no evil can befall us there. No plague can come near us there. In the name of Jesus, the name of the Lord is our strong tower. We are inside it and we are safe in the name of Jesus. The Lord is around us as a wall of fire. So we are secured. Our lives are hidden with Christ inside God. So no devil can touch us or terminate our lives with long life. The Lord has satisfied us. So we live in the name of Jesus. I declare the Lord has set my purpose and his hand is stretched out for the fulfillment of my purpose. No one can stop it. I am manifesting my destiny now in the name of Jesus. I arise, I shine. My light has come. God's glory is upon my life in the name of Jesus. I declare in the name of Jesus all that God has ordained that I bless are blessed. All that God has ordained to bless me are blessing me in the name of Jesus. All divine relationships that I need in this season of my life, I have them now in the name of Jesus. They are connected to me now in the name of Jesus. I declare my home is God's habitation and heaven on earth. My home is God's dwelling place. I and my spouse are one as the Father and the Son are one in my home. The husband loves in the name of Jesus. I declare I am head and never tail. I am from above, so I'm above all in all fields of engagement. I'm anointed with the oil of gladness to be above in the name of Jesus. I'm seated on the thrones of David and Christ in all these fields and industry where I'm engaged. All things are working for me. All forces submit to me. The best of the industry and field yield to me in the name of Jesus. I have the mind of Christ. I have the intelligence of Christ. I have the thoughts of Christ. I have the excellence of Christ. So all I do, I do by the intelligence of Christ and the excellence of Christ. In the name of Jesus, I declare I am God's chosen, God's beloved, God's elect. And so today, I am victorious and triumphant. I am successful. I have overcome all. Greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. In the name of Jesus, I declare I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. In the name of Jesus, the spirit and anointing of the move of God is in my life. So I manifest the fullness of Christ's character, thinking what he would think, saying what he would say, doing what he would do in all situations. In the name of Jesus, I manifest the fullness of Christ's power, casting out devils, laying hands on the sick, and all of them recovering. In the name of Jesus, doing the works of Jesus and the greater works, I manifest the fullness of Christ's wisdom. Everywhere I go, the wisdom of God is in display. I create solutions. I cause advancements. I do exploits. I achieve mighty things by the wisdom of God. In the name of Jesus, I manifest the fullness of Christ's presence. Everywhere I am, the presence of God soaks the place. The sinners come to Christ. The sick are healed. Yokes are broken. Bondages are destroyed. Powers of hell are seized. Demons, they flee. And the power, glory of God covers the earth as waters cover the sea. In Jesus' mighty name. 
All right, speak in tongues for some few seconds. A rica paposco fia besgina. Nendush as they say, Cadu fraposo. A catoco numba, piamba sore. A rico fia pesco toca. I see a zindo niambe. In Jesus' mighty name. Join Pastor Paul Alashore every Sunday, 9 a.m., at Elohim's Tabernacle International, Lecky.